Hello, hello, all right, everybody. I finally got here. Yay! Fire hobby boxes from Target, right? Sweet. All right. Um, this is my first look at this. I haven't opened any of this stuff yet, uh, except for the blasters, of course. I opened that. I had four last week. I found in a local store. I looked in one store um, while I was out and about yesterday, and it didn't see anything in that Target. It was like nothing. I think, think I don't think they're restocking around my area weekly anymore in the store. I think they're doing like bi-weekly. So maybe I'll check again next week. See if they can find anything in the store. But that's why I didn't buy the blasters online. So I was like, oh, I'll just get them in the store. It'll be quicker. I did last week at work, but this week I didn't get it anymore. But all right, let's see. Let's take a look at this stuff. Been waiting for this since launch day. I was right on top of this. Last year I opted out. I didn't do it because there was so much like baseball stuff that was out last year. I was big into like, uh, a lot of different things, you know. Last year was absolutely nuts. Pops was on it last year, though. They was getting all their stuff out on time, and Panini was, like, way behind. So I was kind of, like, breaking Panini's balls a little bit. Let's see. No good info there on the back. You got Here's 20 packs per box. And two autographs. Two autographs. That's it. 20 cards. 20 packs. Six cards per pack. Ah. Alright. They're all shuffled up now. So whatever rhythm they had to them, they're not going to be anymore. Sweet! New rookies. TJ Friedel. Great checklist on this stuff. This is what uh, Chrome should be. Series 2 should have been. Pena. There we go. What a letdown Series 2 was, man. They really... Well, at least they got the short prints in there, unlike Chrome. I told you guys before, I'm not buying much Chrome retail. I bought like four blasters uh, yesterday, and I think that's it. That's that's all I'm going to do. Because I just don't... I've gotten a lot of breaks for Chrome, because they do have a lot of autos. They have a ton of autos. So, some good players, too. Juan Yepes. So, I do like the big breaks. I don't like the small breaks where they got like... One hobby box, two hobby boxes, a half a case, three-fourths of a case. Those are for the birds, man. I mean, you are you really are gambling in because you're really... There's not a lot of product getting ripped, so your odds of hitting are really down. But hitting anything. I mean, I'm talking about like a, a big number card. Anything, like just getting cards, period. You can't even get, you know, base, you know, inserts, uh, parallels, nothing. Willie Mays Hayes. Love that movie. Yeah, I watched that's one I watch like every freaking spring. But I'm a I'm a I'm a good I'm a tribe guy, you know what I mean? So, you know. I got to. Makata. Boy, he had a terrible game. Terrible two games against the Guardians the other night. Who we got here? Castro, rookie. There's our first one. It's a hitter. It is a hitter. Sleeve right here. There we go. Can't be too upset about that one. All right. It's a hitter. Olofo Castro. Now, I'm not that thrilled because I I don't know what his stats look like now because I don't really don't keep up on the Pirates, but I looked earlier in the year and he was hitting like 200. So hopefully he's improved as the season went on. But a lot of guys are hitting 200 this year. So it's like, it's kind of weird. It's kind of a crazy year, right? But a lot of guys turned it up in summer. They did. Nice looking card. Sticker. Sweet. 
You got a red foil. It's a wanker. Reed Detmers, rookie, and Cabrian Hayes. I'll keep my rookie cards over here in a pile, and we'll see how many rookie cards I get from one of these fire hobby boxes. I'm hoping Target puts these back up. Um, I'd like to get some more. If not, you know, I just hit that. I'm hoping the Bowman Platinum, when it comes out, the Walmart exclusive for baseball. Um, if it comes out, whatever. Um, I know it should. Hopefully, these they, they. I guess they've been good about getting that stuff out. Bobby Witt Jr. Fire. Give me some Witt Jr. Fire when that Bowman Platinum comes out and hits your Wally. Last year, I think that was like eighty-five bucks a box, was it, or something like that? But it has two autos in it as well, and those were really nice. I like those as well. So, they're highly collectible and all that, too. Nice one there. Nice nice hitter. I like that. So, make sure when you get, when that stuff comes around. I try to give you a heads up when that stuff comes around, guys. Because, you know, a lot of people liked that stuff last year. It did go pretty well. Props did a decent job on it. And it had like a, a updated checklist on that. I think it did. When that came out, it had some of the newer guys in it. I think it did. I could be wrong. Uh-oh, I needed a Stephen Kwan. I was hoping to get one. I didn't get one out of my blasters last week. Stephen Kwan. That's my boy right there, man. That dude is a freaking hitting machine. A base hitting machine. Oh, he got like five homers on a year. Dude averages between like 290 and 300. But I don't know what his own base percentage is. But it's disgusting. It's got to be disgusting. Like his walk, the fucking the walk to strikeout ratio, walk to K ratio has got to be like disgusting as well. I mean, this dude is. See, I put him right in the top loader's base rookie. I don't. That's where that's where it's got to stay. Uh, Yadier Molina. Nice insert right there. That's a nice one. Oh, look at this. We got a red Shoei. Sweet red foil. Now these are these red foils are two per blaster, so I don't know how many they're gonna be in the uh in the hobby box. A nice one right there too. Color match. Dalbeck and Goldschmidt. Anthony Rodon. Hutchin. Oh, he's got updated photos in his Milwaukee Uni. JD. That's another one of these inserts. Mr. Glass. Luis Robert. Matt Manning. He'll be around for a while. I've been trying to get him. I've been getting him in breaks. Matt Manning, but I have not been hitting. I think I did pull one auto of his out of the last break I was in. Maybe. But so far, I think... I think I did get one. I got it was like a base. I think I have to go back and check my records. It hasn't got here yet, though. I got did get him in one break, and all I got was like a one blue parallel and some refractors and prisms. Wander base. He's a tough pull, man. Matt Manning is a tough pull in Chrome for his uh, parallels and stuff. At least for me, it is. I haven't. Had much luck with Matt Manning. Salvador Perez. Buster. Buster poses only. That's a little bit. Itchy. Wit. We got another fire die cut. Max Scherzer. Not really that big of a fan of die cuts. These are these are nice though. They're pretty sweet. But I'd like it probably a little bit more if it was like a regular full size card, you know. Death Beer and O'Neill Cruz. Let's leave this cat up too.
I haven't seen like that many O'Neill Cruz autos. I've gotten some pretty big breaks, guy. I got like 10 casers, five case, uh, one 10 caser, a five caser, I think like a four caser. The only two I got back is the 10 caser and the five caser in the mail yet, though. I haven't got the other ones yet. I got the auto set right here. I can show you after the video. You want to see? Okay, I'll run it. Up. <laughs> I got here yesterday. I just opened them up. I was running through them right before this video. Gonna look at all my autos and my color. I haven't pulled much color, which is kind of weird. Got a lot more autos than I do color, which leads me to believe that's why I don't want to get a lot of the retail. Well, maybe the other colors in no, because I opened four blasters. I think I got what two parallels, one, one I think, one numbered card. Freddie Peralta, Ryan Hoskins, the red color mat, red foil color match. Muncy. No gold plated on these, only in the blasters. That's what I'm gonna miss. Man. I'm like looking, I'm like, I'm missing something on this fire. What was last week that I was liking so much? It's the gold plated. The gold foil. It's not in this. Blaster only. What the now that's a nice one. I'm gonna sleeve that up. Dallas Chapman, look at that. Like a color explosion. Flame throwers. I got one of these out of the blasters, I thought. Who it was, but man, those are nice. Flame throwers are pretty straight. Oh, I got another one. I better keep my sleeves handy. Another die cut. Nolan Arreño. Arendo. Arreño. Oh, no. And a Kirby. Dude, I haven't seen that much. I haven't really seen Kirby at all this year. What's he doing? Is he playing? Is he not playing? Is he good? Is he not good? Is he hurt? What's up with Kirby? I've seen a little bit of Detroit games, but I don't remember seeing Kirby playing at all. I know Detroit's another Matt, Matt, uh, Joe Ryan. Joe Ryan's a beast, too. Boy, he's good. Stout. Yep, Stout. Everybody's after Stout. And Stout, Ashby, Pork, all the rookies, man. Did they sandbag? Why would it, my point is why would they sandbag to put them in fire for a target exclusive and not put them in anything? I don't get it. I don't understand the whole process decision because these guys should be in Chrome. I mean, people say, well, they're standbagging because they're going to put them in update. But they're in fire. Their common base card, rookie cards, are in fire. Why? I don't know. They're sandbagging for for, for uh, Chrome, for uh, update. Because they're in fire. 13 of 99. Corbin Burns. A little bit of a color match here. Some kind of purple. So that's the only number card I've seen. That's kind of like, eh, hope I get another one. Trout to the moon, baby. Feel bad for Mike Trout. No playoffs again for Mr. Trout. But they got to be used to that, right? What is that team? It's always like these teams, man. It seems like... You know you got a crappy franchise when they get a player like this and they just piss them away. They do nothing with them. It's like either build around this cat, give give a winning team, and set your franchise off. Like they could go off. People around the United States start wearing like angel stuff and this and that. I mean they could really that's like kinda like what the Patriots did and winning, right? It, it sets you got a player like that you can really build behind and you know Build your franchise, your franchise's name and the outlook on your franchise, and you do nothing. You do nothing. I mean, if you ain't going to do anything with them, just trade them. Then. <laughs> trade them and get somebody, get other people for them. This way you can win. Red foil, a little bit better. Flip it out. The flipping out series, I like the series, flipping out. Those are nice. 
I don't believe they're all red foils either. Another flamethrower. These flamethrower. I mean, these cards are hot, dude. These are fire. Look at that. Color explosion. I just got my second. Ah, second number card here. Jose Barrios. Corner's a little iffy down there at the bottom. There's a little iffy right there. Was that little white? Because it has like these little white dots. Yeah, that's okay. This is number 93 out of 199. Two number cards. Didn't get either one on a rookie. But we get a third number card? Be nice. I haven't seen any Jose Rodriguez yet. Um, no J Rod. I did get his, like, two of his last week. I got his base, and I got the, was it the red? Yeah, it was the red, that red one. So that was cool. Rizzo. There we go. That's a PC guy. Jose. Jose, Jose. I think that uh, the tribe's magic number now is at four, as of 924. And we got another Trouty here. On fire. Giancarlo. And MJ Melendez. He's a uh, auto only. In Chrome. Tough pull. He's a tough pull. And he's going for a little bit of money. And I've seen how tough he is to pull. I mean. A lot of the stuff in Topps Chrome. Just so you guys know. It runs like a lot of stuff. It runs together. Alec Thomas, but not certain players don't. Like some of these auto only guys, the pitchers run together. But some of these other the position players, some of them don't. Like and some of them do. Well, Peyton, got Peyton from the Marlins. He did. Alec Thomas, John Gray, Sunny Gray. Is that Sunny Gray for the Twins? I I've been used to seeing Sunny Gray in his red uniforms too. So I seen that. Threw me off, so that's got to be Sunny Gray. Uh, updated uniforms. Wow. Beautiful thing. Strider. Uh-oh. Color match on the red foil. Spencer Strider. Dude, this cat's going for a lot of money right now, too, boy. People people love Spencer. Love them some Spencer Strider, boy. So I'm going to go ahead and top load this bad boy. Throw him the fire, Spencer. Throw him the fire. Put him in a fire. Woo. So we got a good amount of red foils out of this. Three packs left. Nice cards. I don't know that I got a banger. Maybe that's Strider. McCarthy. Updated rookie checklist is more than enough for me out of this stuff, right? That, that's got a Chrome here, or silver. Oh, our second auto. I forgot all about it. We got a trout. I forgot all about. He's getting a second. Auto. I was like, oh, that's gonna be it. Nick Forts, the Miami Marlins. He's a. Uh, I think he's an auto only as well on Chrome. Not numbered. Either one of my others were numbered. This one looks weird, though. It looks different. It's just that's why, because it's a different design on it. Like, this one was a... Uh, different ones of these cards in the base set have the different designs. So I got two hitters. Sweet! I'll take a Strider, though. Or a Joe Ryan. Or a Matt Manny. <laughs> Or, or, or. McCarthy. He's another rookie I like. Of course, you know, everybody likes this guy. Leave everything at his. Everything. Shane Boz. I think Shane was having a pretty decent year, too, wasn't he? A 
Luis Gill. Gabriel Aris, another one. He got called up, though. He's up right now. I don't think he's played yet, though. They just brought him back up. They had him up earlier in the year, but only for like two weeks. Two or three weeks, I think that was it. He didn't get that big of an opportunity, and he didn't do well. His batting average was like around 150, and then they sent his butt back down real fast. Is that Matt Olson and a Braves Uni? That threw me off again, too. I'm not used to this. Uh, is it Jackson Carr? I think it's... Yeah, that's okay. Yeah, I see right there. Duh. Oh, look at the card. Look at the card, Craig. Uh, Nolan Ryan. I'm going off memory here. Another red foil. Is it? No. Thought maybe. Vaughn. Uh, Josh Lowe. Uh, Wong for the Brewers. Lars Newtbar. Tristan, or Sticks, however you want to call him. Having a great year, man. He came back strong. He went out last year as a rookie. They sent him down. He came back up. He was a different kid. A different man, I'll say now. Because when he first came up, he was like a kid, man. He, like... He was doing bad, and he like he looked like his spirit had been like torn to shreds when he was on the mound, because he was getting just he was getting shelled, <laughs> like <laughs> it was like me playing softball, you know, you just watching watching balls fly over the fence, freaking in the outfield, you know, freaking that's what this kid he looked like, was totally shot mentally. Then he went down for a little while. They sent him down, and I don't know who the the tribes got in our minor league system that was working with this kid, or what help he saw it off off the field, or whatever he did was to give him the credit because he did it. He came back, and he was a completely different ball player, man. His mindset, mentally, he was so much stronger, and he was just he was on. And ever since then, and this year he hasn't let up. He's just been <laughs> playing great. He was a little off and on, like up and down, but he never got down on himself earlier in the year. But he just kept pounding away. And some days he was great. And some, next, uh, it was kind of iffy. But then he just kept on. And he's been consistent for the last couple months now. Last few months now. He's been one of the best pitchers on. The, at times, I think he's been better than Bieber. And he's been great. So, uh, real quick. I'll run through some of the stuff I got from two of my breaks. All these came out of two breaks for Topps Chrome. That I did this past week. Weekend, I think it was. Uh, my parallels first. These are all the parallels I got. And... Judge these by the stack of autos I got. So I got the uh, Jose Ramirez negative, um, Blue Wave Jose, um, was a Magenta Sparkle, Classe, a Green Emmanuel Classe. I got a Trevor Rogers black printing plate. Nice hit there. Those are hard to pull. Uh, Trevor Robert Rogers green. Oh, aqua. That was a green number to 99. I don't know what you. It's like a wave. Is that a wave? Yeah. I guess it's a wave. Um. Yeah, the other one was a lava. That's why I always get those mixed up. Jared Walsh. Like a magenta. Those are numbered to what? 399, I believe. Yeah. Another Jared Walsh. Magenta sparkle. Adelis Garcia. I, like, I only get these kind of guys like Jared Walsh and Adelis Garcia and stuff like that. Well, Jared Walsh has autos. You know, so I'll pay a, a few bucks for him. Not that much, but Adelis Garcia's don't. And I think he's had a really good year. He's a good ball player. So a chance to get maybe a, a, a low number, like, uh, card or whatever. I'll spend, like, you know, two, three bucks. You know what I mean? If I get him for, like, two, three bucks, I'll take it. If it's a big, a multi-case break, I will. If it's just, like, a case and... Or even like a couple hobby boxes. I don't even mess with it. Uh, Lordy's Goriel. The purple. Nice looking card here. To 250. Another guy having a great year. Figured I'd go ahead and pick him up for like two bucks or whatever in a break. You never know. You end up getting a parallel out of it and some prisms and stuff. Matt Manning. I've been hunting this guy, man. I did get the blue. This is my favorite one I pulled out of his. It was the blue. Uh, true blue. The 150, and it's it's gem mint too. Absolutely gem mint. So, I haven't. I think I did get an auto. I got in like break that was done Saturday. I think I did one Monday. 
And I did one other one in a week where I got Matt Manning as well, I believe. And I think I might have pulled an auto out of a base, just a base auto out of that third break that I was in. But I can't remember. I got, I think like, got a hand, I got a few, I got a dozen or so autos out of that break. I can't remember. Mitch Herringer. I want to say that's like a fuchsia, but it's like a, it's not a magenta, I don't think. I guess it is a magenta. It looks darker than those other ones. Number 399 and Jose Barrios on the color match, the blue wave. And that's number to 75. I had that Jose earlier too. That was the same card as this. That was number to 75 as well. So that was a really good one. Now here's the stack of autos I got. This is not a lot of two breaks, guys. See the, the small stack of parallels? Look, that's the small stack of color. It's the autos. All right, so when I tell you Topps Chrome is all about the autos this year, because they have a lot of good veterans in there as well as the rookies, and they have then auto-only rookies and stuff like that, Topps Chrome is all about the autos. Color, autos. Anybody want to argue? <laughs> Put in the comments below. <coughs> all right. <laughs> Same break. All right. It's two breaks. That was it. The color, the autos. Gavin Sheets. Refractor number to 499 auto. Really nice looking card there. Uh, Ryan Jeffers. Lava Blue. Number to 150. Beautiful cards. These autos are on point. Nikki Lopez for the Royals. Veteran. Refractor number 499. Refractor auto. Another nice looking card. Um, Joe Barlow rookie from the Texans. Red. Number two out of five. Go Joe Barlow. Nice one there. Jim Mint too. Curtis Terry base. This is one of those guys. I don't even think he's in the league anymore. If he is, he's in the minors. Um, so I think he might be even out of a job, out of the league completely. I'm not even sure. But if, like a guy like this, he does have uh, everything. Like his autos are Texas. And his bases and stuff like that, their parallels, regular ones, are all Minnesota. So if you get a team break for it, you got to watch that out. But I didn't. I just had him on a player break. And it cost me a couple bucks. But I just figured, you know what, maybe i get something out of it. I did get one auto and, you know, all the prisms and the... Um, refractors and stuff like that. Jansen Junks, an auto only. And I've seen breaks with his that were that people were pulling like, you know, I watched a few breaks like were multi cases. People were pulling like four or five out of his, his out of there. So I was like, you know what, for three bucks, I'll take a Jansen Junk. Maybe I get maybe I get three or four or five autos. I got one, but it didn't cost me like anything. It cost me I think I think honestly, if I paid two ninety nine, I'd be surprised. You know what I mean? Maybe maybe four bucks. Maybe between two. I'll say between two ninety nine and three ninety nine. Let's just say that. For argument's sake. It could have been like two eighty, two sixty or whatever, but we'll say two ninety nine to three ninety nine. So I know I didn't go over three ninety nine for that. Devon Castile, he's another one. I don't know that he's still in the league. Alright? Uh another one that was probably like two or three bucks. And I was like, you know what, let's just see. Maybe we get lucky. I've seen a lot of people pulling this guy. Um, so I was hoping to get multiples on that one. Just got the one. It didn't really work out. Uh, well, I guess I did because I, I paid so cheap for it. So whatever. <laughs> Mitch Herringer, we got a base of him. And he's got everything in the whole set. You know, he's got, you know, base. He's got autos. He's got, you can get plates. Every, I believe plates. Everything, everything of his is in there. There's not a lot of, uh, Inserts, though, you know what I mean? So there's, I don't think he has that. So we had two base Mitch Herringer autos. Then we got Trevor Rogers auto base. So he's that plate I pulled out of his earlier. Another Trevor autos. Trevor Rogers, I'm sorry, auto base. So we got two of his and that plate when we pulled him. Then we got another red. Of red wave this time of uh, the other one I think it was true red was it I'm not sure maybe it was maybe I can't remember this one's like a red wave of Mason Thompson another one Jim 
freaking mint, man. At least the low number ones are spot on. No errors. Number four out of five on the Mason Thompson. And same break, another Mason Thompson. Refractor. Same break, another Mason Thompson. Refractor. So three. Mason Thompson. Oh, actually, no, I got four because I got another base out of that break as well. Same break of four. That's why I said some of the guys I run together. So same break was four Mason Thompson autos. Next break, I said, you know what? Let's get Mason Thompson again. <laughs> we, had, we had so much fun with Mason Thompson the first time, and I think that spot for those four autos, including that red, cost me like six bucks. So, no, no, no. It was more than that. I can't remember if it was a 5 case or a 10 case for one, though. For one of them, I think he cost me like 7 and change for the 5 case. Or in the 10 case, I think he cost me like 20. So, the Mason Thompson, I said, let's do it again. So, I'm going to guess. I'm going to hope that one was the $20 one where I got the red one. And this one was the $8 one where I got the 3 base. So seven Mason Thompson on those. And then we got this guy. These all the all of his came out of uh one break as well, I believe. Peyton Henry. Blue wave the 150. Beautiful card right there, man. These blue oh blue lava. I'm sorry. These blue lavas. I like to see a red lava. There's the wave. The aqua wave, the 199. Peyton Henry. Another aqua. Uh, the same case break. Uh, the same, not same case, but same cases. Same break. Another Peyton Henry to 199. And then we got a Peyton Henry base. TJ Fredell for the Reds. Uh, Blue Lava. 150. Right? Yeah, those are one 150. Another one. Base this time, same break. Another one, so pull three out of his out of that one. And John Heasley for the Royals, we got a true gold, number 26 out of 50 on the true gold for Heasley. And then we pulled two more Heasley base autos. Then we pulled a Kyle Seeger. Refractor to four ninety nine. Uh, Kyle Seeger. Oh, I, this ain't even an auto, huh? This should have been in the other pile. Ah, eh, wrong pile. Kyle Seeger was that a uh, green teal or something? The one ninety nine. Aqua. I don't know, but that's a beautiful card. Beautiful cover match, right? With that jersey on there and stuff. That is spot on, brother. I love a good color match. You know, I'm not. I'm not a Mariners fan. But this one's gem mint. I may get it graded just because it looks freaking amazing, dude. <laughs> I'm cool like that. I'm weird like that, right? I was like, when I see a car like that, it's like, a, I love a good color match. And that's like freaking, look at that. Does it get any better than that for a color match? I mean, seriously? <laughs> I don't know. Brandon Lau. He's out with like depression or something like that right now, right? Crazy. Another Brandon Lyle. This was a purple speckle. That's a nice freaking card too, man. These autos, man. I love them. I love, I love them. I want them. I want to get some more of them. Trey Mancini, Blue Lava. He's had a great year. He kind of like dipped down when he went to the Strohs, but when he was in Baltimore, man. This year, he was freaking having a fantastic year. He went to Houston. He dipped. He had some struggles a little bit. I don't know how he's doing as of late. He's a good ball player, though. I'm, I'm guessing he'll straighten it out. Blue Lava. We got a base. Good old Trey. Another base of Trey. Good ball player. Seems like a good dude. like to get one of those slabbed up as well. Then, last but not least... Mr. Luke Voigt. This guy cost me about probably like four and a half bucks. And we got lucky. We got three autos. We got a blue lava. 
that looks amazing, right? These blue lavas, oh my god, they're great looking cards. Uh, number 142 out of 150. Then we got base Luke Voigt and another base Luke Voigt. Luke Voigt is auto only, so you have to watch those spots. If you're like, if you're in a hobby box break, I'll give you a tip. All right, hobby boxes have more of the redemptions in them. Um, from what I've seen, and I've seen a lot. I know jumbos have more autos in them, but I'm seeing more redemption autos out of the hobby boxes. All right, that's just what I'm seeing. You could be something seeing something different. There's thousands of this stuff being ripped. I know that, but this is what I'm seeing. Um, redemptions are being pulled out of the hobbies. Um, that's a lot of Tyler Stevenson redemptions and stuff like that. The uh, auto only guys. If you're not dealing with jumbos, I wouldn't really mess with the auto only guys too much. I mean, I know they're cheaper because they're auto only. They don't have any base cards or anything like that, but that's how you're going to get skunked. That's why, like, if I'm doing it like a, if it's like a two or three case of hobby boxes, which I'll do, if I'll do, I'll jump in a break if it's like three, three or four cases of hobby boxes, okay? If it's like 36 autos or something like that, I'll jump in. But I'm not going to jump in if it's like one case of hobby boxes. I have two cases of hobby boxes, I'm like, Ooh, if it's cheap. If I get someone for the right price, cheap enough that I like or whatever, and they're, they, but, I won't really go after these kind of guys that are just like auto only, you know, I mean, they'd have to literally be like a dollar 99 for me to say, you know what the hell I'll take it. I'll, I'll risk it for a buck and a half buck and buck 99 or $2 or something like that. You know what I mean? But you want, you want those guys, you want the jumbos. If you're doing hobby boxes, you want to look at the checklist and look at the guys who have everything, have base cards. You have chances for parallels, you know what I mean? And printing plates and all that stuff to give yourself more opportunities to hit. And that's kind of like my philosophy. That's the way I go about it like that. And as you see right there, that's two breaks. I think I did pretty good. <laughs> Even though they were big breaks, they cost me a little bit of money. But, I mean, let's say I think one of the breaks cost me like 440 bucks. All right? 440 But you should see the stack of refractors and base cards and prisms and everything else I got for those cats. So one of them cost me 440 The other one was like two something, I think. So it's like a total of like about maybe what 680 something like that, right? And no. Did one of them only cost me 150? Or is that the third one I did? It cost me 150. I don't remember, but I think it was the third one that cost me 150, and I pulled 13 autos out of that one as well. And that, that one that ain't here yet. So you look at all these autos though. You know, you could buy two jumbos for you could could you buy two jumbos for six hundred and 680 bucks. See, 440 and about 240 would be what? $680. You couldn't buy two jumbos for $680, could you? That's three, that average, that's $340 a piece. I think the lowest that jumbos are going for right now online is about 400 even. So you couldn't even do that. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, no, nine. 10. Okay, so that's what you'd have. You bought two jumbo boxes. There's your autos. That's what I got. Same price. Chrome's not for sealed. I know this is a fire break, but this stuff is sitting here, and I just got in today, and I don't want to talk about it. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Like, share, subscribe. And as of me doing this video on Saturday morning, um, around lunch, Nobody bought the hanger yet on my eBay store. So watch the video I put up yesterday uh, showing you the card you need to go find on my eBay to purchase that hanger. Um, all you pay is for the shipping and the 99 cents for the card. So it's going to cost you about $5 total. And you get a free hanger of select football. So go look at my eBay store and see if it's still there by, by the time uh, this video goes up. Uh, but last I checked, it still was. So bye for now. Off to the next. Later.